the name of the Lord be glorified. Word of life is uh, morning. It's a beautiful day the Lord has given to us. Let us go straight before Him and give Him praise. I greet all of you in whichever part of the world you are. The Lord bless you and the Lord do you good. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice. Say thank you to the Lord. Say thank you to Jesus. That is the first thing to do when we start the day. We start the day by giving thanks to the Lord for his doings in our lives. Praise be the living God. Lord, we come before you this morning to say thank you unto you. Thank you for your doings, which are marvelous in our eyes, O Lord, we are thankful. Lift your voice in the next three minutes and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. You can sing a song to Jesus this morning. You can sing a song to him. You can sing a song of worship where you are in your bedroom. You can move from the bedroom to the sitting room if possible. Lift him, praise him, sing a song to him. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice wherever you are. What a beautiful day. The Bible says, here is the day the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in him. Lift your voice and give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. You have two minutes to give thanks to the Lord. You have two minutes to give him thanks. We learned yesterday that God must take the first place. We must honor him. And if you honor God, God will also honor you. Lift your voice. Honor him today. Lift your voice. Say thank you. Maybe you say, what will I say? But look at your life. You are awake today, morning. It's a very good reason to give him thanks and praise. Lord, I am awake. It's by your grace. It's by your power. I am thankful to you. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my babies. Thank you for your plan for my life. Glory to God. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. Lord, I say thank you. In the meantime, you can share the link to all the groups you belong to for everybody to hear this message because I know it will impact and change the life of many. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, and give thanks. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Amen and amen. Well, uh, we go to our meditation of the week. As I announced to you, this week we'll be looking at a very important topic from Hosea chapter 9 verse 14. Let me read for you. The Bible says, give them, O Lord. What will you give? Give them a miscarrying womb and dry breasts. As I told you this week, we'll be crying to the Lord for the grace to conceive in our womb and give birth 
to the world what God has deposited in us and be able to carry it to full completion. How do I know that I have a miscarrying womb? Number one, somebody with a miscarrying womb is able to conceive but not able to develop that which he has conceived. Number two, someone with a miscarrying womb is able to start but not able to finish and establish. God put this topic in my heart because somebody listening to me, you start a relationship, but you don't establish the relationship. Whether you become pregnant, you go home, you have not been celebrated, as a wife, you are just there, and you just stay there. You will receive the grace to finish and to establish this week in Jesus' name. You start a project. Of building it has never finished it is not a blessing it is a sign of and this week take it seriously and believe me I am not only teaching you I'm teaching myself as well Number three, you know you have a miscarrying womb when you, you work on the foundation. You are always on the foundation. That is where you stop. There is no structure. There is nothing people see rising. You know you have a miscarrying womb when you do not carry the finishing grace. You know you have a miscarrying womb when you rarely celebrate your achievement, meaning there is no achievement in your life. You know you have a miscarrying womb when you see your breakthrough coming but suddenly it disappears. You see it coming. They call you that they will uh, 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 appoint to you a position, a, a job somewhere. But the way it will disappear, you don't know how it disappeared. In the name of Jesus, it will never happen again in your life. You know you have a miscarrying womb when you have, you are full of unfinished projects. And in, again, I want to let you know that miscarrying womb is worse than barrenness. I mean, it is better. Okay. To be barren is bad anyway, but it is worse. It is good, let me say that, that uh, you know that you cannot produce, than to, pro to conceive and you know you cannot carry it until the end. What do you know that you have a miscarrying womb when you are full of great ideas, full of great opportunities, but nothing come out of it? We are in the month of September. We have many people who told me, Pastor, I have a project. I have an idea. I want to start a business. I want to do something. Since you told me that one, that idea or those opportunities, nothing to show. Imagine how will you feel as a church if I tell you this year, we do this, we do this, but we have, we have done nothing according to what we told you. You will feel frustrated. In the name of Jesus, 
somebody's womb will be restored this week and forward in Jesus' name. You know that you have a miscarrying womb when you have that spirit of premature death because miscarrying is exactly it's a spirit of premature death that resides in the womb waiting to destroy every seed the womb gets because to miscarry is death premature death everything will start dying prematurely nothing goes until completion or fulfillment dry breasts how do i know i have dry breasts you have dry breasts when okay you somebody can go beyond he gives birth but whatever he gives birth in unto does not grow because dry breast means you don't have enough resources to carry out your project. I went some time back in a place here in Kenya to pray for a lady. She showed me all her properties. I mean, she has lands where she is. I don't want to mention the place. And she showed me everywhere she started. It has never finished. Never ever did she finish anything. She paid for me the ticket from Nairobi to where she was. And I went to see all the lands. You see, thorns are there. That is a curse. That curse is reversed in your life today in Jesus' name. She will start a project and all of a sudden money will disappear and she does not have what it takes to finish it. In the name of the Lord, you will never suffer from it again in the name of Jesus Christ. That is dry breast. You have a project, but you don't have money. You have a great vision, but you don't have financial muscle. You have a great uh, uh, dream. But you don't have a support system to grow it. And at the end of it all, it dies. That's why this week, I would like you to confess, my womb will not miscarry, my breast will never run dry. You will never run dry of divine provision for your project. You will never run divine help for what you want to carry out in your life. If it is you say a good amen because that is what will happen to you this week. The Lord will surprise you. That project that died many years ago will come up, come back to life in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, the question I want to ask is this. What happens when somebody has a miscarrying womb? The answer I find in Luke chapter 14, verse 28 to 29. The Bible says in Luke 14, 28 to 29, suppose one of you wants to build a tower. What is the first thing you will do? Won't you sit down and figure out how much it will cost and if you have enough money to pay for it? Verse 29, otherwise you will start building but not be able to finish then everyone who sees you what is happening will laugh at you three things happen when somebody has a miscarrying womb number one people will mock you people will make fun of you people will laugh at you people will ridicule you i prophesy as a man of god 
your life will not be an object of mockery. I want, to I want you to listen to me and take this moment seriously. Jesus says, if you don't finish, if you are pregnant but you prematurely miscarry, people will mock at you. People will laugh at you. All of those who are sons and daughters of the word of faith church, you will never be an object of mockery. If it is you say with me, I will never end up as an object of mockery. People will not mock me. People will not laugh at me. People will not ridicule me. People will not make fun of me. That is not the plan of God for my life. My friend, take it as it is. Number two. What happened if somebody has a miscarrying wound? It is a failure. Failure. What does it mean? It means there is no reward. There is no crown. There is no graduation. There is no change of level. There is disappointment. There is waste. There is no celebration. Tell me who is the student who did not complete the normal cycle and he was uh, 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 graduated. Show me in which university you have not completed and you get the reward. I declare over somebody's life today your life will be a life of celebration lady let me tell you your season of celebration has finally come i prophesy if you believe what the man of god is telling you receive it this morning i will celebrate my friend i'm expecting from you as your pastor and your father before the year is over you will be celebrated you will be celebrated with a glorious marriage. Not that you, 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 you are pregnant somewhere there and then they come to drop you in this house. You are just there. You will be celebrated in Jesus' name. Number three. What happens when you have a miscarrying womb? You have nothing to show. You have no testimony nothing to show if you fail you won't testify but this morning i tell you you will testify in jesus name say with me i will testify this moment in the name of the lord prophesy over yourself i will testify of the doing of the lord in my life what to do what to do you need four things and I will close. Number one, you need power. You need power. To be able to conceive is one thing. To be able to, be able to finish or to give back is another thing. For you to give back, you need power. Now, you need uh, uh, power. Isaiah chapter uh, 37 verse 3. The Bible says, they said unto him, Thus said Hezekiah, This day is a day of trouble, and of rebuke, and of blasphemy. For the children have come to bath, and there is no strength to give, to give, to give, to give forth. The children, you see my friend, do, do, do you see your problem? Your problem is, you think that it is enough to start. No, you need power. Now, you need power, number one, the power of the blessing because miscarrying womb is a cause you need the power of the blessing now today i will release blessing over somebody's life god has called me i am a man of god i carry the anointing of god upon my life to bless people i will bless you today 
to revoke the cause of miscarriage in your life. Now, listen to me. The last time you miscarried is the last ever in your life, in Jesus' name. Number two, you need the power of the covenant. Because miscarrying is contrary to the covenant of service. Now, listen to me. Exodus 23, 26, the Bible says, You shall serve the Lord, and there shall, there shall nothing miscarry. Miscarriage is contrary to the covenant. And I want to encourage you, my friend. Enter into the covenant of service. You need a covenant with the Lord. Covenant is what will preserve. So you need power. Number two, you need plan. You need to plan. You need to plan. Jesus says, if you want to build something, sit and plan. My friend, I beg you by the mercy of God, stop living your life as, as, as time goes. You need to plan. Plan your day. Plan your business. Plan with the Lord. Plan on what you want to do. Many people are miscarrying because there is no plan. People are got, getting married without any plan. The husband has no plan. The wife has no plan. Nobody has, has a plan of nothing. God says himself in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plan I have for you. Do you have a plan? Pray for your plan. And number three, finally, no, 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 finally, number three, you need to prophesy. For you to destroy the miscarrying womb, you need to prophesy. To prophesy what? Prophesy the blessing of God. Prophesy blessing over yourself. Prophesy blessing. Stop cursing yourself. Stop cursing yourself. And what do to prophesy what? Number two, prophesy your rights in the covenant. Those are the two things you need to do to prophesy the blessing and prophesy the rights, your rights in the covenant. And finally, what you have to do, you need to pray prophetic declarations. You need to pray prophetic declarations. And I want to make those declarations on you. And then we will pray. And please, it is a session of impartation. Because I want to declare to release power over somebody. If you notice that is your life, they called you that you will have a job. They never called you again. You started that relationship very well. Something happened and it disappeared. I will show you tomorrow. Some powers of darkness which are responsible of miscarriage. Your life will never be the same again. Somebody will testify. Now I pray over you. I have 10 declarations and receive them if you believe in the ministry of the Holy Spirit right now. Number one, I pray for you to receive power to conceive and give birth. Say, I receive power to conceive and give birth. Number two, I release over you power to start and finish and establish because you need power of the blessing. If I am a father to you, if I am a prophet to you, receive that power in Jesus' name. Number three, I pray you receive the power to move from foundation to manifestation. Receive it in Jesus' name. I declare over you, receive the finishing grace in Jesus' name. I declare over you, number five, you will finally celebrate your achievement in the name of the Lord. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Number six, the last breakthrough you saw disappearing is the last ever in your life. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Number seven, receive power to finish your project. When I went to see that lady, I spoke a word. 
She finished one building. It was last year. She started a second one, which is about to finish. I declare over you, you will finish those projects in Jesus' name. Number eight, I curse the roots of miscarriage in your life. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray you receive power to convert great ideas into success. I revoke finally the spirit of premature death in your womb. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Now, if you are married, you are expecting children, or if you are a lady, if you are a man, hold your hand on your womb and just declare, pray in three minutes and we are done. Lift your voice and pray. Wherever you are, we are closing there. Receive the prophetic declarations and make them your prayer. Pray. Pray and declare, Father, in the name of Jesus, my womb is delivered, 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 delivered. Pray, 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 because something is happening in the spirit over your life. When you are holding your womb, you are holding your project, you are holding your dream, you are holding, you will be called back for that job. In the name of Jesus Christ, this, this relationship will be resurrect in the name of the Lord. Whatever died, the Lord who sent me will confirm to you that this moment is solemn for you. Pray. Pray for your woman. Declare in the name of Jesus, I will not miscarry the plan of God for me. Pray. 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 Pray for your womb. Pray for your womb. I declare over my womb in the name of Jesus, I will crouch, I will go to the end in the name of the Lord. Do you have a project? Do you have something you want to do? But there are so many obstacles around you. Pray for your womb. Pray for your womb. You are praying physically, but spiritually you are praying for the womb of the project. All the projects, all the dreams which you have. Pray, my friend, and declare in the name of Jesus, I revoke the curse of miscarrying womb. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 and pray. Pray, 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 pray. You have one minute. I revoke. I release the blessing of God over my womb in the name of Jesus. Pray, my friend, and declare in the name of Jesus, my life will have proofs of achievement. Pray, pray, declare, my life will have proofs of achievement. My life will have proofs of accomplishment. My life will have proofs of success. In the name of Jesus, my life will be celebrated. My life will be celebrated. All the powers of darkness hindering my celebration. I destroy them today. Pray for your womb. Put your hand on your womb and you pray. Release. As you are holding your hand there, I'm speaking the grace, the finishing grace, the blessing grace, the blessing grace over your womb. Your project are coming back out of the grave. Declare my life will be what God intended it to be. No more frustration. No more desire disappointment in relationships, no more disappointment in business. Father, bless my womb. I declare today, I revoke the curse of miscarrying womb in the name of Jesus. I will finish. I will have things to show. I will testify. I will be celebrated. Father, do it for me by reason of the covenant, by reason of the blood of Jesus. Father, I pray for my womb. I will conceive and give birth. I will conceive and give birth. I will conceive and give birth. I will start and finish in the name of Jesus. I will move from foundation to manifestation. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I will finish my project. The root of miscarriage is destroyed in my life. Great ideas and opportunities will never slip away from me anymore. Spirit of premature death, you are destroyed in my life. Father, thank you. In Jesus' name. If you feel you need to talk to pastor privately, I will pray for you. Don't hesitate. Send me a WhatsApp. I will pray for you. The time of joke is over. 
you must have proofs in your life. And somebody who cares to come in the morning to rise an altar to God, you will testify. God bless you. See you tomorrow, 6 30. Share this video to people who are struggling out there. Share to as many as possible. And you will see how God will visit you also in Jesus' name. Good day.